hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video so for today's video i met that beauty has sent me over one of their poly gel kits to try and review for you guys this is how the packaging looks and on the back it has their ingredients and also their social medias from looking at the package i didn't think there would be much in it but once i opened it here you see it comes with more stuff and it comes with two poly gels and then it also comes with some dual forms i'm just gonna take everything out the box and then show you guys in a second and please don't mind my voice guys i'm just waking up i was unable to do my voiceover last night so i'm doing it early this morning so i can have it posted for you guys But you see the box is empty. So first we have this I Method Poly Gel Nail Extension Guide. And it has a step-by-step -step instructions. And then it also comes with their social medias. And also other um, gel polish colors that you can get on their website or from Amazon. I'll make sure that I'll leave the link to where you can buy this poly gel kit below. And then here you see it comes with some dual forms. And I'm going to show you guys a closer look. So here's how the dual form look. Um, it's kind of curved. It's not as curved as the other ones I've seen. Um, I might use these in a future video, but for this video, I'm not going to use them. And then it comes with this poly gel brush with the brush on one side and the spatula on the other end. From first impressions, this brush is super flimsy and soft. So I was unsure on if I should use this or not, but I did go ahead and use that just so you guys see me using everything that comes in the kit. The brush is super workable. It's just very flimsy. And then next we have the two poly gels and I picked these colors, natural pink and light purple. And then here on the back, it also says their social medias. Make sure that you guys go follow them. And then next, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like comes out the tube. And I'm going to swatch both colors. So once I remove that little foil thingy, this is how the pink color looks. And this pink color is so pretty. Next, here comes the light purple. And this purple color is also super pretty, but I thought that the purple color looked more sheer compared to, compared to the pink. As you can see, the pink has a little bit more pigment in it. Even though the pink is more like a peachy pink, it's not as pink as I thought it would. I cured for 30 seconds and it cured pretty nice. And like I said, I will leave the link to where you can get this poly gel kit if you're interested below. So moving on, I have my natural nails. I just went ahead and applied my tips and I filed them and shaped them to my liking. I went ahead and removed the dust and this is how my nail tips look. And then I'm just going to apply some base coat. I'm using some base coat from a car since the poly gel kit didn't come with any so i'm just going to put some base coat over all my nails and then cure in the light for 30 seconds So once I cured that, I'm starting with this pink color and I'm I'm just putting some poly gel on my nail kind of in a slanted direction. I will post my inspiration um, picture from Instagram. I seen this beautiful nail design and I just wanted to recreate it with these colors. So I'm just starting off with some poly gel and I'm using some rubbing alcohol as my slip solution. Um, I'm just kind of slanting that poly gel from like my nail bed to the, the um, left side of my nail. And I'm just patting that into place starting at the cuticle. And I'm just going to use the body of my brush to make sure that the line is straight. But the line doesn't have to be exactly straight because I will go ahead and cover that once I'm done applying the poly gel. So I didn't focus too much on my lines being straight. I'm just going to focus on patting that poly gel. So once I was done with my first bead, I went ahead and cured. At first, I was going to keep these layers thin and just encapsulate. But when I thought about it, I just knew that I could just go ahead and build it up with the colors and just put the foils on after and put a top coat. So that's what I did just to save me a little bit more time and work. So 
I'm just going to keep adding layers until I build up the nail exactly how I want with this pink and then I'm going to go in with the purple to fill in the other side. The consistency of this poly gel is very nice. Um, it's not, I, I think it's more on like the stiffer side, which is kind of like my favorite poly gels. I kind of feel like it's better for like poly gel tends to like flood the cuticle or like run everywhere. I do like a stiffer poly gel. This is how the side profile looks and once I was done adding them, that's how it looks. And next I'm just going to go ahead in with the purple and start filling in the rest of the nail. The purple was also more on the stiffer side which is what I like um I didn't have any problems with this poly gel it just kind of took me longer with this brush because the brush is like super soft so I kind of had to like pat it more for it to like move since the poly gel was more on the stiffer side other than that I didn't have any problems with it and I really did enjoy this poly gel So when applying this purple color, you can tell like it's more on the sheer side. It's more like transparent than the pink, even though you can't really see through it. But this is how the first nail looks. Like I said, I didn't focus on too much with that line. I'm going to cover it up anyways. So once I cured that, I'm just going to repeat that same steps on my ring and thumb. And then go on to the next designs because my pointer and middle finger will be different. So I'm just going to repeat that slanted nail design with both colors on my ring and thumb and then I will come back.
So once I was done with the thumb finger, I cured that for 60 seconds and this is how those nails are looking. Super cute. And then for my points and finger, I'm just going to do a full purple nail. So I just put the purple poly gel all the way down and then I'm just patting that around the nail. And then once I pat it and get it over the entire surface, I'm going to start to smooth it out. Now on this nail, you can see more where the poly gel is more on the transparent side. It's not that noticeable, but that's just something I noticed about this poly gel. And I really do like this poly gel, like the consistency was very nice. But yeah, I'm just going to continue to pat this poly gel. And once I get it to my liking and built up around the apex area, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And each time I add poly gel, I do cure 30 seconds in between, just so that I don't mess it up. This is how the first layer looks. I did go back in on the side and add a little bit more. And I'm going to continue building it up to my liking and move on to the next nail. Once I was done with my pointer finger with the purple, I'm just going to do the middle finger with a full pink nail. So there's not much to it. I'm just going to repeat that same step on this nail, building it up and carrying in between each layer. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. So please make sure that you give a like and comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do so. So with the pink poly gel, I was able to get it smooth. This is how smooth I was able to get it. Like this is very good quality poly gel for a good price. And once I just smooth that out as best I can, I'm just going to cure that. And these are how the nails are looking. This color combination is super pretty together. Um, I really do like these so far. And then I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and just wipe off that tacky layer before I go into file. And then here I have my new 8080 grit file from Panna and I got these because I've been watching some other YouTubers and um, they use these to like file down a little bit more faster and you also get a more crisp um, shape with these so I went ahead and got these from Amazon. I'll make sure that I link it down below to where I got mine and as always I'm just going to file the sides first. I, I filed the sides and underneath the nail just so I can clean up that area and then I also do the free edge a little bit and then I go on top of the nail this surface and then I'm just going to file these nails down so they are smooth and then I also go back in with my e-file around the cuticle area. I'm not sure if I added that to this video but I will go ahead and file the cuticle area seal that in with my Melanie Susie nail drill So once I was done filing, these are how the nails are looking with the dust on them and this shaping is so nice. 
Um, I wash my hands and this is how it looks after all the dust have been removed. And then next I'm just going to take these little foils and I went ahead and start to rip it up because it's easier to work with before you like apply top coat because if these touch your nails these will stick everywhere. So I just went ahead and took my tweezers and just shredded a little bit of this foil before I went ahead to apply it. And to apply it, I'm just applying some base coat or top coat. I'm not sure which one, but I'm just applying that on the little um, line where these poly gel meets. And I'm just going to cover up that line. This foil design is such an easy look to achieve. I feel like it's so pretty and like it doesn't take much to do this. So that's why I really wanted to do this once I saw that picture. Like it's just so pretty. I'm just going to continue adding that for you on the line of all of the nails. And then I'm also going to put some on my um, pink and purple nails. I just cured that in the light and then move on to the next nail. So when I got to these these solid nails, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just wanted to like tie in the gold foils a little bit more. I feel like I could have added some rhinestones on one nail and like some foils on the other. But I just went ahead and did some foils on both. So I just put some top coat um, on the little corners of the nails, how you see that I did. And I'm just going to fill in those those spaces with the foils. When I'm doing review videos like this, I don't like to cover up the poly gel. Just because I want like the poly gel to be like the main focus of the nail so yeah I didn't want to like cover the poly gel too much so that's why I just went ahead and did the foils on both sides I'm not going to show the other finger but I will show the entire process of this pink nail and then I'm just going to cure that and move on and then I'm going to go in and add my top coat Oh, actually, I did show just a little bit of it. This is the last clip of me adding the bottom part of the foil to the purple nail. And then I'm just going to cure that and go in with my top coat. And once I got those cured, I'm just going in with my cuticle oil from Cutie Nails. I do love this cuticle oil so much. Like, it's so nourishing and nice. I have been using it ever since I got it. And I'm just going to put some of that on my cuticles and rub that in. And this is how the nails turn out. These nails are super pretty. Um, the foil just complements these poly gels so much. Like, it is so pretty. Um... The poly gels were super easy to work with. I do love this poly gel from iMethod Beauty. Um, go check them out. I will make sure that I leave the link this poly gel down below. So you can pur purchase it if you're interested. Comment down below what you guys think of this nail set. But these are one of my favorites. Like the shaping on these are super nice. So I do feel like the Pana 8080 grid nail files did help out more. And as always, if you have made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.